guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to create an 80 millimeter pdf size receipts or a thermal receipts using app sheet so i have a sample application which is a point of sale so the options or the functions of this app is you can print a letter size format or an A4 size format receipts or an 80 millimeter PDF size receipts. So I'll show you how this app works. Then I will show you how to create later on the 80 millimeter size PDF. So here let's let's see I'm going to create a sales, add an item, and it auto reopens the form actually. So you don't need to uh, keep coming back to the same view. As you can see, it's auto reopens, and once you you don't want to reopen the form, you can hit save. And the users has a options if they wanted to print the receipt or not. So if they wanted to print the receipt, they can just create the receipts, and it's up to your uh, functions. But in this particular setup of the app. Uh, we are not forcing automatically the app sheet to create same time the receipts. It's up to the users if you wanted to create the receipts or no. So right now here, as you can see, we have a letter size. And we have as well the uh, the, P, uh, the 80 millimeter size, which is ideally for a POS printer or a thermal printer. All right. So let's go to the app sheet and I'll show you how this application works. So let's go to the uh, automation. So it's here, a receipt PDF. Since this application sample that I have, it creates both uh, letter size and then 80 millimeters. So in the letter size here, I have added this. Uh, it's more about on the attachment. So here you can just look the attachment page orientation so as you can see in the letter it's a portrait so you can put that a portrait and you can select uh, attachment page size as you can see guys here you, you don't have um, we, we, uh, these are the options and then we have also what we call the custom wherein we can use it in 80 millimeter so as you can see if you if the selections are here a4 letter so you can just select that all right, then we have an advance here for the uh, if you wanted to use cost uh, custom margin, so you can use a custom margin and select. So let's go to the 80 millimeter. Uh, I'll show you how how to create that in app sheet. So an 80 millimeter instead uh, here, so you can select uh, landscape or portrait since my receipts for 80 millimeter is a portrait. So I choose portrait. Then attachment page size. You have to make it as a custom custom then here the height of the uh, the height and then the width so let me explain to you how this height and width works so for a thermal uh, for a thermal printer usually it's a continuous paper uh, until when depends on the number of items there or SQs there it will cut so the safest um, for me it depends to your transaction let's say in one transaction you think that customers buy five line items only so you can always adjust the size so in this case for me is the the safest page height it's 250 so this is the attachment 250 in case the customer order up to 10 items so at least it will be there anyway when you uh, print it in the thermal printer you can just cut up to here depending on the length of the paper all right so so here it's up to you uh, depending on the height okay and the width is this is where the uh, width of this uh, receipts so this is where the 80 millimeter width comes from so it must be 80 it's up to you you can add a little bit bigger or one point extra or two point extra so and the margin so which is the top you, you always use custom margin if you wanted to use an 80 millimeter uh, attachment so you can use a custom margin at top. I use 14 point, and uh, here on the top I use 14 point, 
and also in the right side I use seven point which is half of it actually as you can see and then below on the button I use as well 14 point which is equals to the what is whatever is in the top will be the same below here and then if you go if you go to the uh, template so here in the Google Docs we don't have like a page um, a page uh, like a file size so it doesn't matter here actually so the best way to do that is when you go to the uh, um, settings here we have what we called uh, settings page setup so you can just go page less or you can use even letter size here and app sheet will just compress it or I mean change the temp, uh, the attachment and here this is where all uh, adjustment happens in inside the app sheet it's not from the uh, uh, template here in the Google Docs so ideally if you're making an 80 millimeter I would suggest just use pageless okay so as you can see pageless you can just put like this uh, without uh, borders because anyway all the settings it, it will be based on the app sheet side okay as you can see here guys uh, the way the receipts I the way receipts uh, appeared in the receipts it's by items so it's not like by uh, by this if you go to the letter since uh, like by by columns so since the uh, thermal receipts is the it has limited space so we need to maximize the space so instead of if, if you have like a very long item description it will just eat here all the space so what I can do is I put the item description description the top below that is this quantity to present the total and they are grouped as per items item ID as you can see let me show you how this how I created that inside so this is the template works if I'm going to uh, show you all the uh, lines actually you will see that see you will see that uh, it it is actually a table and here as you can see this is the label I mean the, make the company name and the receipt number and date it's a table actually so this is one row one row and then and this uh, line items here or the child records it's also a one table so what you're gonna do in order to achieve similar like this if you wanted to group this so you need actually to uh, this is the uh, virtual column to start and then down here I'll show you something there is actually a line here okay I'll show you how this how the how I create this okay see the structure of this table uh, of this template is that you create you you insert after this here you insert one table this is actually up to here is uh, this is actually one table so you, you insert a table which is only has one column then inside I'll show you how 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 this works let me create uh, in the drive for you to understand how that okay okay so basically what's happening here is that in order to group the PDF into this it will be come out like this all you have to do is just you insert a table a one table okay then you put your start here so this is the start okay so this is the start then this is the item names here all right so this is the item names then inside the star inside this table for you to group it into items like this and the apples the quantity of it will goes down here 
all you have to do is that you insert you insert a table as well inside the table let's say how many columns is it so it's a uh, like that so it has three items so this is what happens here is that I insert there is there is actually a line here still okay let me show you how this works all right see as you can see this is the table and this is the column so now you put your uh, column name here column name one or let's say name one name two Okay, so inside the table, you put the column name 1, 2, and 3. Then you can continue your start expression by this. Quantity, uh, sell price. So let's say you have here, uh, you go like this, name, name 1. So I'll just copy this to make it easy. Alright, so then the where you want to and then every start description there is an end uh, this end uh, expression right so as you can see here start where you, the end should be placed outside of this inserted table here you put your end here so that's how it works so so every time you added a line items so this uh, this one will create always since this is in one one row so it creates additional if you added two items it always create like like this so it's it will be grouped as per the items all right so then you can design uh, to hide some lines there by using this um, Let's say this, and then there will be some colors here. You can hide it, as you can see, to hide those lines. If you wanted to hide, to have some design on it. So that's how you're going to do. So here, uh, it doesn't matter about the margins here because it still depends to the uh, attachment that you have made here. All right. So I hope you learned something in this uh, video. And if you learn something, uh, if you have any questions, comment in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.